Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, which is on episode 2. Now, this episode right here, it seems alright to me, but after I did my research, knowing that there's only going to be about 12 episodes, I don't expect this series to be, um, be pretty good, just being honest. Because I don't really know what's really, really bound to happen, depending on what they adapt and what they omit or cut out, honestly. But if anything else, whatever it turns out, it will turn out in a certain way. So, yeah. That's my only concern, since there's only going to be about 12 episodes of Re, but we'll have to see. So, if anything else, let's go. <laughs> we had to it that Sasaki ends up taking on Orochi with his Kagane, and later on ends up being a different person eventually, and ends up defeating him. Of course, on the other hand, Orochi, on the other hand, says a couple words to him and says, No matter how far you go, you're so irredeemable. You know that? And therefore calls him Kaneki. And he goes, uh, and Sasaki goes like, what you may call it, um, <clears throat> Nishio Senpai, and ends up losing control, but was later calmed down in the end. Of course, we have to it that, um, Arima, on the other hand, or Mado, I think. Yeah, Mado ends up having to take care of, like, um, what you may call it. Um, a little bit of S Sasaki t after he calmed down. Of course, Mado ends up meeting Furuta and this other guy, which I am not too interested in, in a certain sense. And Sasaki, who's calmed down, scolds, it, scolds Ure for his lack of, like, um, sense of wisdom or something because he just ran in recklessly and ends up almost killing the entire squad and therefore he puts him out of reach to he therefore like um put demotes him from captain and puts um shirazu to become captain of the queen squad and we had to it that um ure really hates this idea while sasaki does have a little like um sparring lesson with arima he ends up telling him about a certain voice in his head, and Arima asks him, like, do you want to go back to that time? You know, those old times of your old family and friends, possibly? Don't you want that? And Sasaki says, no, I don't want to, because everything he has now seems perfect, as he does not want to <laughs> lose what he has now than what he has back then. And Sasaki still remembers what Orochi, or should I say Nishio, told told him by saying you're irredeemable in the end huh still irredeemable and of course we have to it that someone that's known as a rabbit ends up having to kill like most of the squad except one person while we had to it also ure on the other hand was trying to take matters into his own hands but beforehand he ends up talking to kuri kuroria or something which apparently he has a, a grudge against him by Saying that his father let his father die or something, and why is it that he wasn't there or something? And Ure, on the other hand, still keeps this face about like he doesn't have anything personal or something. But aside from that, <laughs> we have to it that Ure was trying to put things into the manner of his own hands by increasing his cognate or his power inside his body in other cases. Of course, the doctor, on the other hand, says, I don't recommend it, but if you really want to go through with this process, I want you to get permission from your mentor and your leader or something, or two people that's like under that you are under the wings of. And we had to it that um, they end up, there's another investigation happening right now, but we had to it that um, <coughs> Ayato, who is apparently taking on the alias of the rabbit, um, warns the torso guy like um you know if you join al giri it's gonna be hard for you to come back get get the hell out you know that right so i want you to think this through before you make the final decision etc and we had to it that torso remembers uh mutaki or something and maybe teams up with al giri possibly after what benefits or possibilities he could do as for ure he, on the other hand, ends up having to, like, um, what you call it, um, get the fake signature from Sasaki, etc., and what's, what, what's been going on. And, of course, like, um, Shirazu was really upset to see to it that the torso guy is teamed up with Aogiri, and Ure says, 
We have no other option. I mean, do you understand what happened two years ago when, when they fought Al Giri or something? Their freaking casualties were very high. And we get to see a scene with Psycho having to steal some ham and go back to her room. And there's a new investigation called the Nutcracker, apparently. And they call this one the Nutcracker because <clears throat> she has this tendency to squeeze or crush the man's testicles or something. Which, I, when I saw that scene or something, which was shown beforehand when Sa Haize was talking about it with Shirazu and Mutsuki. I'm thinking about my, oh man, dude, even if I'm not experiencing that, it still feels painful. <laughs> um, yeah. But aside from that, um, we had to they enter a coffee shop or some kind of shop whatsoever, and we get to see some familiar faces, which gave me very big nostalgia. While Ure himself, which was conf which was um, <clears throat> given information to Sasaki that um, Ure is in the hospital doing something right now, which he does not know of right for the time being. And Ure, on the other hand, must be doing surgery to increase his power, while Sasaki Haize, along with Shirazu and Mutsuki, are tasting the coffee or whatever drink is at the shop they're going at. And, <clears throat> of course, Haize ends up having a tear falling down from his eye, saying, How could someone like her be so pretty here or something? I'm thinking in my mind, god dang, this gives me so much nostalgia, because if you guys ever read the Tokyo Ghoul manga, or even watched the anime from the very beginning to where it's at right now, you will know I'm talking about why I have this kind of strange nostalgia. <laughs> and the preview of the next episode, it looks like um, we'll see um, some action or possibly investigations going on, especially Psycho possibly getting out of bed or something, hopefully. But we'll have to see from here on out, because we get to see Psycho for a little bit, who just took meat from the fridge and then runs back to her room and she never gets out of there. I just go like, you understand it drives you, it drives you crazy if you're not doing anything else, etc. <clears throat> but we'll have to see. Aside from that, thought the episode was okay. In terms of like finding out that there's only going to be 12 episodes, I don't expect it to be very good in the end. It all depends on on how it goes. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off as zero people. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye bye. Doo -doo -doo.